This is my BAE Hawk. It's a complete kit I picked up from Hobby King not too long ago. It's a nice kit. Comes painted up in the red arrows red color. You have your fuselage halves, your elevator, your your rudder, your elevators. I like these elevators because they're full floating elevators. That's going to look nice on an EDF plane. Your canopy, glue, your wing. There are your decals, hardware, a 70 amp ESC uh, speed controller, more hardware, landing gears, and a 90 millimeter fan with a supposedly uh, 3700 kV motor and four bladed fan unit. Also your instructions too. It's not a bad kit for the price. It looks like it could fit more of a 70 millimeter fan instead of a 90. But since this is a 90, we're going to go ahead and stick with a 90. Now there are some things I'm going to change about this plane because there are some things I just don't like about it. First of all, it's going to be this motor, this fan unit. We're not going to use this fan unit, but instead, I picked up this Typhoon 500 series. 1800 kV motor with a seven bladed fan unit, 90 millimeter. Now that's going to be nice. It's going to put out a lot of power. We're also going to change the landing gears too. These landing gears are made of plastic. They're flimsy. I mean, I'm bending them right now. So we're going to make some new landing gears for this, but we're going to keep the wheels. These wheels are nice and light. We're going to keep those. Now, to be able to get this in here, we're going to have to make some changes. Now, according to the directions, originally, this fan is supposed to fit right at the tail. It's supposed to glue it in, and it glues in place. It's supposed to fit right in the tail and glues in place. Now, you're not going to be able to do very any maintenance on it if you got the plane or the motor glued in. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this new fan unit, we're going to move it forward right behind the wing root, or where the wing hat, the, the trailing edge of the wing. And we're going to cut a hatch right down up in here. That way we can access the motor and be able to get to it. And also the landing gears, we're going to make a, like a landing gear platform and set it up here because originally it's supposed to be glued on the outside. That doesn't look good. So we're going to go ahead and do it that way. Now right now I just stuck it together with holding it together with rubber bands. Like I said, it isn't a bad looking plane. And it should come together nicely. I'm using my Turnigy 9 gram steel gear servos in it. So that should give it plenty of power right there. To work with and like I said I'm gonna stick with these elevators because these elevators are full floating and I like that so we're gonna set that up for full floating we're gonna have to cut the rudder in we're gonna have to cut the elevators in but like I said we're gonna stick this 90 millimeter fan right in the tail and to be able to do that we're gonna have to cut out some uh, some make some space for it on the inside which shouldn't be too hard to do without sacrificing strength of the fuselage. So stay tuned for part two when we start construction on this.